It's an alarming trend. Fairfax County police have shot nine people since the start of 2022. Four of them were killed and that could accelerate proposed reforms to the department. Our Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Max Marcillo joins us live from the Fairfax County Government Center and Max today. The county's safety and security committee heard from a group that's worked on figuring out what policies they feel need an update. Yeah, and it's a wide ranging list of proposed policy changes from recruitment and retention to mental health to importantly use of force because of that trend you mentioned. And tonight, many of the changes that were proposed can be linked directly back to cases we've seen over the last year, year and a half. Just moments after this chase across a parking lot at Tyson's Corner Center, the officer wearing this body-worn camera shot and killed 37-year-old Timothy Johnson. Now a community-based group in Fairfax County is telling its elected leaders a foot pursuit policy, which FCPD does not have, is needed. We want to be deliberate and put in place not just a policy but the right policy. That policy is one of many the group is recommending. It's also calling for a clarification to the levels of civilian resistance that can justify the use of force and changing the definition of use of force to include the pointing of a gun, even if officers don't shoot. Whenever we have the number of OAS shootings, fatal shootings, approaching the number of homicides, non-domestic incident homicides in our community we have a problem no, we don't Can you just put it down, it's okay please? and after jasper aaron lynch was shot and killed by police last summer during a mental health crisis the group is suggesting reforms around mental health calls it wants the department's co-responder team to be staffed 24 7. their names and particularly their deaths should propel us to greater reflection rigorous reform practical policy and a more caring community Now, one criticism brought up tonight was from Supervisor Pat Harity, who said the group of police reform individuals haven't heard the other side of these policies. Well, that other side could come soon. Police Chief Kevin Davis is expected to review these proposed changes and offer his feedback on them before any of them would be up for a vote in front of the whole Fairfax County Board of Supervisors. Reporting live outside the Fairfax County Government Center, I'm Max Marcilla, DC News Now.